What is something you did once and never again? I stayed at my sister's place one night and we for the life of us couldn't find the vacuum cleaner to blow up the spare mattress. So I hit on the bright idea of using the car exhaust to blow up the mattress. Back then the car used leaded petrol. As a rule, I sleep with the windows and door closed so I am damn lucky. Woke up next morning, in hindsight luckily, with the mattress one half flat and the room smoggy. But being low to ground near door, the draft under it keep me alive, again in hindsight. Cinnamon challenge back when it was a thing. That was pretty stupid. Hung over and zipped my zipper before I was ready. Mixed milk and orange juice because I thought it would taste like a creamsicle not make me projectile vomit. Carolina Reaper infused gummy bear. I almost called for an ambulance. Legitimately thought I was going to die covered in sweat, shit and vomit. When I was 10-ish years old I knew about sexual things, and when you find smutty magazines and porno mags you grow up believing that you're gonna have sex all the time with every random person. After shaving what small pubes I had, I rubbed toothpaste all over thinking, yeah the girls will like this, did I think it'd taste better? Smell better? I have no idea. All I know is it stung. I had a cool mint dick for hours. Hiking through jungles. They look so beautiful in movies. In reality they are some of the most brutal hikes I've been on. Let's start with the humidity. It's so bad it drenches you to the bone, and there's no escaping it. Being under a jungle canopy is like being in a pressure cooker. The heat and humidity beats you down harder than any environment I've been in. Then there's the swarms of biting bugs. From never-ending mosquitoes, giant spiders on everything, ticks jumping on you from everywhere and colonies of aggressive fire ants crisscrossing the trails, you can expect to have more bug bites than you've thought possible to survive. Put pizza wrapped in foil in the microwave when I was 10 thinking it will warm up quicker. It surely did by lighting on fire three seconds after I turned it on. You know that thing you did as a kid when you'd prop yourself up between two objects, like a counter and table, and swing back and forth with your legs? That. Lower jaw in three pieces, tongue dangling out through an open wound beneath my chin, no idea how many stitches. Teeth damages, which has already lead to one of my front teeth dying due to damaged nerves, and to top it all off, this occurred just before we had to perform a bit of theatre for the rest of class, and it has negatively impacted my ability to perform before any audience. But the scars add some nice character. Went to Times Square for New Year's Eve in New York City. I live in NYC and I figured it was the kind of thing I wanted to see but didn't need to see again. Went in 2000 when I was 18. Got there 11am and stayed for 13 hours in the freezing cold but with close spots to the ball drop and screen. I'm glad I did it. I'm also glad I've never done it again. Edit. Thanks for the awards. Cool seeing others who had a similar experience or who were there that day themselves or even at the exact same age. Got more karma and awards than I've gotten in four years and it actually kinda made my day so thanks again. Did heroin for the first time and wasn't into the sensation at all. The same roommate that talked me into heroin talked me into smoking some crack to even out. Luckily I wasn't a fan of either and never did either ever again. Jumped out of a perfectly functional airplane 45 years ago. Not paying attention to currents when swimming in the sea, and going anyway when there's a red flag and no guard. Dumbest shit ever. I was with my two brothers and my father, happily splashing around. Suddenly we turn around and the shore just got very far away. So we start swimming back but the sea is stronger than you. If you stop 5 seconds to catch your breath you lose the progress you did during the last minute, and that's precious. I was young so I don't remember it as a legit life-threatening situation, but my bros and dad still got chills when talking about it. I jumped off a roof barefoot when I was a kid, I'll never do that again. It was an older house and the roof was low to the ground, so it seemed okay, but my judgement led me astray. I landed on a stone entryway and immediately collapsed to the ground. I had to crawl my way back inside and it was extremely painful. The reason I did this is because the bathroom door jammed shut and I had no way out, old house. Didn't break anything but my feet were bruised, I'm surprised I didn't break anything from the hard impact. Removing paint from a table. I still need to finish sanding the thing but that was a nightmare, who paints a table with like 30 coats. Edit. 
used Citra Strip Safer Paint Remover, then scraped the flat surfaces with a scraper, then used steel wool on the other parts, rinsing the chunks of paint off in between as it gunked up the steel wool real quick. Then repeated the process a few weeks later, then used a belt sander on the flat surfaces, now just need to hand sand the other surfaces. It's like you want to quit but you are too invested at that point. Assume the green stuff on the sushi tray was avocado. Spray deodorant on my ass to cover up the smell of my farting. I was six, once that spray hit my bullet hole, the burning began. Stayed at a bed and breakfast. I'm not social enough to socialize with people during breakfast. Bath salts. Tried some from a guy who went by Asian Billy. I did about enough to cover the head of a framing nail and was pretty much having a panic attack for the next eight hours. I went to a casino with the other people I was working with and Asian Billy and sat at a blackjack table and just said, I have no idea what I'm doing, sorry everyone if I mess up your bets. Everyone was cool and I ended up winning $175. Tried to intervene during a street fight. Got shot for my troubles. Got drunk once with friends under the Ambassador Bridge drinking 120 proof rum from duty free shop. Puked my guts out. Can't stand the smell of rum since and it's been 53 years. Cocaine. I remember feeling alive, feeling like myself for the first time, feeling like I was bursting at the seams with creative ideas. I was finally the person I wished I was, as creative as I wished I was, and as motivated as I wished I was. I felt like I had found the secret holy grail of success and happiness. Then I thought, oh, fuck, this is why people get addicted to it. So I vowed not to do it again and went back to being depressed and unmotivated. I stole a tester eyeliner from the makeup section at a store when I was 17. The security guy took me aside in a small room and questioned me, asked for my information, and to scare me, he said this would always be in my record and companies won't want to hire me anymore and I burst into tears and had a panic attack. He said he'll let me off if I pay double the price of the eyeliner, so I did and he let me go. Now, I don't know how much of what he told me was real and if the resolve was legitimate, but if he tried to just scare me into not becoming a serial swiper, it worked. When I just found out about masturbation I used dish soap as lubricant. At first it was fine, but I didn't wash it after. The next day I woke up with skin peeling off the top of my dick. I could barely take a shower it stung so bad. Never again. Used Nair to remove all the hair from my junk with little effort. Don't. Ever. Do. This. A drug that to this day I don't know what it was. Made my knuckles and face go numb and I went into a fit of rage. Snorted it and it was sort of a translucent white and my homie had it in a gum wrapper. I wouldn't have done it but I was already high on other pills so I didn't think twice to really find out what it was. TLDR. Mystery drug. Spelunking. Cave exploring. For starters, it begins and ends with going through a million bats. And the journey in between is just too dangerous, in the last place in the world you'd want to get hurt. And super tight squeezes are freaky. Climbed the stairs up the CN Tower. It's a twice a year thing for charity. My friends and husband were all like, yeah, come join us. It's so fun. No, tilde tilde 249 tilde tilde 144 flights of stairs is not fun. I've done it once. It's crossed off. Never again. Edit. Okay, it's only 144 flights of stairs and 1776 steps. Sure felt like a billion, but this post has gotten some traction and I feel guilty. Opening a link in Reddit when someone else in the comments said not to. So when I was really young I liked to play military or something and one time I wanted to be a hostage and escape from it to fight the bad guys like an idiot. However I couldn't get the tape to work myself so I asked my brother for help. So I went onto a cabinet and had my brother do it, I was excited to, escaped and fight the bad guys, then I woke up in my dad's car dizzy, confused and dazzed. What had happened was because I was an idiot, and my brother was too, I was tied up on top of the cabinet so when I wanted to get down I basically faceplanted so hard my mom said it looked like I got murdered. I amazingly only had a broken nose. So I never played, hostage, again. I was a stupid kid. Skydive. Nope didn't help with my fear of heights. When I was a kid, my neighbor invited me to hang out with this new friend from school. 
he brought us about a mile across farm fields to a house he enjoyed stalking behind and watching for hours, never saw him again, but always wondered if it caught up with him edit for clarity, my old neighbor met a new friend at their school, I went to a different one. The new friend proceeded to walk us across town to the house he'd been stalking. Salvia, I experimented with lots of drugs, and especially psychedelics when I was younger but man. Take the most intense part of an acid trip but without any lead up to ease you in. So you go from stone cold sober to tripping balls in seconds. The trip only lasts for 5 minutes but you spend the next couple of hours playing catch up with your brain trying to make sense of things. And you'd better make sure you're with people you trust because I could have easily walked right off my balcony without thinking twice about it. Went tubing down a alligator and snake infested South Carolina river with my southern friends on a 4th of July years ago. The adventure was only supposed to last 3 hours tops. It lasted 7 hours because the river current was slow that day. I got the sunburn of my life that lasted until November. We also lost a raft, and encountered two copperhead snakes and seen multiple alligators along the edges of the river. My Yankee ass will never do that again. The southern folks can keep it. Buy cheap toilet paper. That one ply crap, which was a cross between either using sandpaper on your crack or accidentally ripping through it and fingering yourself. One time, I was a wrong 12 or 13. I suddenly took interest on my sharpener, since my pinky finger was small enough I decided why don't I sharpen my finger. Like why the fuck not. So I plunged it in and twisted, hard. Took nearly a week to heal. One of the most stupidest things I ever done. Ran out of toilet paper when I was 11, saw alcohol wipe cloths and thought that would work just fine. Nope, as soon as I did that first wipe it was as if the sun teleported into my asshole and I was hopping around the bathroom trying not to squeal. Mom opened the door to check on the noise and saw me jumping around with an alcohol pad between my cheeks. Keep alcohol away from your anus. This one time I was getting a drink that was only for a dollar, so I sped walked my way into the mini shops, quickly grabbed one and ran out. I was running to my friend with the drink until I felt something in my pocket, pulled it out and it was the dollar. Asterisk sudden realization asterisk I quickly ran back to the mini shop to see the shop owners scanning the outside of their shop. I gave them my dollar and said, sorry, they looked at the dollar, looked at each other, spoke in a different language, and went back inside. I'm pretty sure they called me an idiot, as I went back with shame. Pee in a garbage bin in front of a teacher thinking that it was a toilet. Sleep is important. I remember, in elementary when I was like 11, I kicked a football wrong during gym class and it bounced off the roof and into a basketball hoop. I remember it clear as day, and I know for a fact no one will ever believe me if I tell them. Ate a whole habanero in two bites. Edit ripped my inbox with everyone's similar stories. I looked into the sky during a lighting storm, had a white flash burned into my vision for some days. I was ecstatic when my full vision returned edit. I love how people are like, I did it, nothing happened, tf is wrong with you. That's some weird minimizing behavior. Climbed Mount Fuji. As the Japanese proverb says, he who climbs Mount Fuji is a wise man, he who climbs twice is a fool. Jerk off in the living room, my mom walked in. Peed on a fence. Did you know some cattle fences are electrified? I rode a bull. First hop of the bull's front legs out the chute and I was off, flipping and seeing sky, dirt, sky, dirt and then belly flopped. That hop felt like a train wreck. Bull riders are insane. Get drunk till I blacked out. Having people fill in the gaps in your memory is terrifying especially not knowing how you got home. I don't drink anymore. Edit. Spelling is hard. Went water skiing. My grandparents were driving a boat up at the cabin and giving neighbors and family turns pulling them on water skis. I decided to take a turn and, for some reason, it ended up as just 30 seconds of everything but my arms and feet being underwater before I realized I should let go. Fucking sucked lol. Have a relationship with an alcoholic. He was sober for two years when we met and then stayed sober for another two. The next three years were total hell. In and out of rehabs, so much heartache, disappointment and resentment on both sides. I was the only one working. I was the one doing everything at home. So many nights and weekends spent driving to and being at rehabs to visit so no time off. I really loved him. 
I really believed I just had to support him by doing absolutely everything I could. Always visiting, bringing everything he asked for, not whining for him to work or even do housework when he was sober, basically ensuring their WSS no stress at all in his life. I really believed he would get sober again. I really really believed that it would be okay. Until one day I knew it would not. One night stand. I hate the look of it. I wish I bought two. I did die for two minutes after a heart attack and don't plan on doing that again, for a while anyway. Does that count? Cocaine. Feeling strong, is a slight misnomer. You feel like your presence in the world at large has increased exponentially so that, strong, comes off as an observation, not how you actually feel. Invincible is the closest word. Fun once and I left it at once. Two things, very similar, the strip club and the casino. Both places made me feel like a complete moron, pissing my money away. Hitchhiked. At 17. To Mexico. Edit, nothing bad happened at all. Everyone was really nice. It was me and my friend, both girls, and we had a great time but I think we got lucky. Drunk driving for a short distance. Nothing happened but I still feel guilty about it. Very irresponsible of me. Bought a $20 lottery ticket. Lost $20. Never again. Working for free. Fuck all the professors and institutes that normalized enslaving their students in the name of science research, education. When I was 14, I accidentally mistook bike chain lube for sex lube. At first, I wondered why it was blue, but that thought was almost immediately overpowered by an intense burning sensation. Running on a wet surface. I learned my lesson after getting a few staples to the head. Context because everyone thought I fell on an actual stapler, sorry for confusing you. Asterisk greater than, it was a Friday and I was almost 8. Since I wanted to play in the pool with everyone I rushed to get ready, but I had to get a few floaties for my sister first. What I actually slipped on was a wooden plank, and I accidentally cracked a bit of my head open. I didn't realize at the moment and just laughed it off because the way I slipped was funny. My mom somehow knew what was happening and told me to stop laughing about it. I didn't understand how bad the situation was until I saw all the blood I lost in the shower. She had to show me what happened, and since she has some knowledge of being a nurse I trusted her. It was so bad I had to go to the ER to get three staples in my head to keep the gush of blood from running. I hardly remember it since it was basically half a lifetime ago. But from what I remember we had to wait for a bit, and I just wanted to go home and pretend nothing happened. I honestly thought it wouldn't be that painful of a fix, but after getting a staple in my head for the second time, I decided that I should be a lot more careful next time. Exclamation mark. Drew a perfect circle with just a pencil. Peed on someone. Lol. I can confidently say that water sports are, indeed, not for me. I was maybe four or five, in the back seat of my mom's boyfriend's Cadillac with my brother. He punched in the cigarette lighter, when it popped out he showed it to me. I immediately stuck my finger in it to, to touch the pretty warm glowy thing. Same age. Came across my first Portuguese man o war in the ocean. I kissed it because it was pretty. Cheat on a partner. Learned the hard way as a dumb teen that this is one of worst things you can do and only ever leads to everyone involved getting seriously hurt. Enlisted in the military in a combat arms job. Wiping chocolate covered fingers all over the freshly painted hallway walls. Got a real ass whooping for that one. If you like the video, please consider subscribing and liking. Any feedback in the comments would be greatly appreciated so that we can make these videos even better. Thanks for watching Upvote Stories.